welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought we could do a new beauty launches and go over some of the new makeup that's coming out. I feel like there's a lot of new stuff and I really had to hold myself off on getting it, a lot of it. Uh, yeah, so I thought we could talk about it, hang out, chill, and ponder all the new makeup. So let's just get into it. The intro, I hate intros on this video. Like we know what it is, like ugh, so annoying. All right, we're gonna start off with the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction because this is out. You can buy this now, at least on her website. I know that I did a video talking about this palette and duping it out with my collection. And in that video, I was undecided on if I wanted to pick this up. I thought it looked really pretty. I still think this is really pretty. I was on the site, I almost bought it. I. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't go through with it. I just wanna make sure I'm going to love it, like love, love, love it so much. And I just feel like I need to see it in person. Like I need to be in person. I'm pretty sure like it will seduce me then. And I think I could create some really beautiful looks with this, but I do want that like extra confidence, I guess, in buying this palette, knowing it's gonna be something I actually will love. I have the Bronze Seduction. I was really excited to buy that when I did. And it has some beautiful shades in it. And I've created some really beautiful looks with that palette, but I uh, when I think of how much I actually use that or even really want to reach for it, it's not anywhere near the top of my collection on top of the fact that it also cost so much money. But then I bought a quad recently, the Venus in Fleurs, I think it's called, and I love that. I love the quad and that one makes me want to use it. I create beautiful looks. So, you know, I'm like maybe now's the time where I'd be into this palette or into a mothership palette, but I'm not convinced and it's a lot of money. And so I haven't, I didn't do it. <laughs> and I question that decision every second of every day since. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up. I saw a little shorts video from Beauty in the Frizz and it was just showing the palette and showing swatches. So I'll leave her channel down below and uh, I would check that video out. Literally everything looks exactly like the photos though. I'm like, holy shit, like. <laughs> It looks exactly like the photo. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. It also looks so beautiful though. I think I'll eventually get it. I do think I probably will. I don't know what it is about Pat McGrath's packaging. I love it, but it just doesn't inspire me in, in the black lacquered case. Like, I don't know. It's heavy, it's bulky, it's kind of big. The shadows are also big. Like, I don't know. There's so many other little palettes that aren't as prestige or even as luxe that I like wanna reach for more, I feel like. so. I don't know, I'm fucking torn, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm gonna do. If you've picked it up, let me know. I don't feel like these are gonna be brand new shades to me, but I think that I also will love them. So that's where I'm at, I know, <laughs> so annoying. But that feels like the theme of so much that's come out. I'm like, oh, I like you, I don't know if I'm gonna try you. I like you, I don't know if I'm gonna try you. All right, next, moving on to the second, I feel like we've been here a while already, but the second item, we have the new Halo Glow Liquid Filter from e.l.f. Of course I wanna try this product because it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I do love that product, I own that product, and I'm really excited. I think this is an amazing release. Uh, yeah, like I wanna try it so bad. I haven't picked it up yet. I like went back and forth. This is the thing, just to be straight, up. It's like, there's a part of me that wants to try this, review it, see if it's good. It's an affordable dupe for stuff. And I know you guys want to know too, and it would be really good as a like reviewer and doing YouTube, right? But then there's the part of me that's like, but I still have my Charlotte Flawless <laughs> filter and I bought this Huda foundation, the glow tinted, I don't know, whatever. I'll pop a picture up. I bought that very recently and I feel like that's a version of also the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm like, girl, seriously, are you gonna have three of these? in your collection, not to mention I have like countless glowy primers too. And I just feel like overwhelmed by that idea. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Part of me wants to try it. Part of me is like, oh, do I want a third of a very similar product? Like it's meant to literally be a dupe of a product I feel like I have two times over and I've had the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't eat forever, forever. I don't use it every single day. I've kind of gone in phases. Like when I first got it, loved it, stopped using it, went back to it. And so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm like, should I? I get it? Will I love it? Ah, I know. So much thought into makeup 
honestly. I love it, like part of me loves it. Part of me is like, this is ridiculous, girl. This is ridiculous. So yeah, I, I really wanna try it. I think it's amazing that Elf came out with it. I hope that it's good. Maybe I'll still pick it up, I don't know. I feel just like so undecided on all of these. I wanna talk about a few more eyeshadow palettes that are out. This one from Danessa Myricks. I mean, the Lightwork 3 Experience Palette. I love how compact this is. I didn't realize she was on three, like volume three already. I didn't pick up the original ones because I think they were a little bit bigger. I didn't like that the pan sizes were different. And honestly, I just have tons of single shadows. So as much as I love a sparkly duochrome, a shifty shadow, all of that, I do feel, I mean, like Shine by SD stuff is just, I mean, there's no comparison, right? Like I have so much of that. So a palette like this feels sometimes repetitive. Sometimes I still buy them, um, but sometimes it does feel a little repetitive. So I don't think I'm gonna be picking this one up. I'm sure there are gonna be some really great looks with it. Also, I wanna mention, you know, when I like shifty shadows, I tend to like something that's more like in the Moonlit Seduction. There's this like brown, purple, blue thing going on where it has like a neutrally base. Those are literally my Achilles heel, okay? Anything like that has like a semi-sheer base to it. It shifts, but it's more sparkly. That's what I love. The types of duochromes, multichromes, I'm not a big fan of are the ones that are very metallic and foiled. They are meant to go on pretty opaque. Like think of good versions of the multi-chromes in the trio chrome palette from Natasha Denona, you know, that like middle section. Shadows like that, um, that shift and are multi-chrome are not my favorite types of shadows. Even the ones I picked up from Cleona, which I really like the stained glass collection. The ones again that are really opaque and super shifty, so sparkly. I'm sure other people's favorites. Those aren't the ones I tend to use. I might like love looking at them on my fingers, but actually on my eyes, they're not what's creating like a stunning look for me anyway. So I feel like this palette also has quite a few of those types of shades, at least when I look at these like finger swatches. Beautiful, beautiful, but um, realistically, I'm not sure I'd get a ton, a ton of use out of it. I mean, I love these photos. I love seeing what she does, but I don't think it's right for me and I don't think it's something I'm going to use a ton. Whereas, actually, let me talk about something I did pick up. This launched like the middle of this month and I just randomly saw an ad for it. That's how I found it and was like, holy shit, I need to get it. This is from Linda Hallberg and it is the Shimmer Saga Quad. Now, I love that this is a quad. So right there, it's already just like a manageable amount of shimmers, I feel like, and just product and it doesn't feel overwhelming to use. I like, I really like that about it. This is all of those like shimmery, flaky topper type of shadows, very ethereal, very like fairy type stuff. So I did actually order this one. So this one is coming to me. Hopefully it'll be here soon. I will definitely do a video on it when it gets here. I love shades like this a little bit more on the like natural side of colorful, of more, of more. You know, like that's more what I'm into. So I'm really excited about this one. I also picked this up, I'm not gonna lie, because the Enchanted Secrets, I think, that's the name of the palette, but um, I love that palette. I'm really glad I got my hands on it after the fact, but I really didn't want to have that happen again. Was tempted actually while I was on the site to pick up a different quad. There are some ones with green and gold and black, like really pretty. I imagine them to be absolutely beautiful, but they probably aren't things I'm gonna use every day. So I, I just got the one little quad. I just stuck to it, but I'm really excited about that one. So that's one I've actually purchased, <laughs> something I've actually purchased. There are tons of really beautiful, colorful palettes out. And if this were me a year ago, a year and a half ago, I probably would want them, honestly. And I do like the color stories, like the colors together I think make sense, but I, I just don't see myself actually wearing them a ton. So one of those is the Nomad Cosmetics. I believe it's the Bienvenue en Provence palette. I really like the color story of this. I think the yellows with the purple contrast really beautiful. I mean, it reminds me of summer and spring. It's really carefree and really pretty, but I'm realizing like, this is all colorful. Like I looked at this palette, I was like, holy shit. Well, one, it's kind of big. So if it was smaller, again, I feel like it'd be more manageable. I could really picture the looks I'm gonna make and really place it in my collection and in how I intend to wear it. I'm excited to wear it. I'm inspired to wear it. It, that type of thing, but this is quite large. But also it's like every fucking color in here is a color, like it's a color color. Like it's bright, there's the top is a pink, then we have a peach, then we have a really bright, beautiful yellow, like inner corner. Oh, I love it. And I am wearing a colorful look today. We'll get into that probably next. And I really do like it. And it's reminding me that how you wear color 
like how, mm, okay, how, what am I trying to say? I've been into a neutral look for sure lately. I feel freaking pretty in them. I feel confident. I just, you know, I feel one with myself. But wearing this green look today, I realized that it's not only about the neutral shadow that makes me feel pretty. You can do colorfuls in a way that I find is neutral. And really what that means is it's just more simple. I do my eyeshadows simply. I have usually two colors, like an outer corner color and a lid color. Sometimes I just have a lid color depending on what that lid color is. Maybe if I'm getting fancy, I will have like three colors on my eyes, not counting my brow bone and inner corner. That's kind of its own thing. I don't count that as like a part of my shadow look, but I'm just saying that a more simplized look when I'm dealing with color still gives me a desired outcome that makes me feel really pretty. It's more about that simplicity that I'm going for. Anyway, I don't know why I went off on that tangent exactly, but like I said, this just has so much. So I can see different colors of these, like that yellow, like as a pop, I can see that with a neutral look or really not much as something sparkly on the lid, you know, almost sheer. I love that, but that's one shadow. And this isn't a quad or something where I can picture that a little bit more. It's so big. We have a lavender. There's like this murky kind of blue thing going on in the top. I guess this next shade in the middle row, the first shade in the middle row is the most neutral we have, like a champagne-y pink. Then we have another kind of yellow, another yellow, a purple, a blue, a red burgundy, another kind of red. Maybe that's a little neutral. That's like the only other one in here. Then we have another yellow, another purple, Purple, and then this looks like a gray, I guess, but it kind of looks blue. So, you know, there's a lot going on. Beautiful looks, beautiful looks to be had. I, I've already seen them on people and it looks great. I just know for me, it's just not gonna get the use. I'm gonna use that one little yellow sh shade, you know, that type of thing. Ugh. I love the color story though. And so that's what kind of is interesting that I feel like I like a lot of the makeup that's coming out right now, but am I buying it? No. And I feel like usually it's that I don't fucking want it and I'm not buying it or I want it and I'm buying it like lately. It's either one, but this one is that, no, I like it. I can appreciate it. I just don't know if I'm going to buy it. Going to the eye look that I have on, I finally, finally, finally got my hands on the nearly neutral palette from Glaminatrix. This has been been being teased like this is my most anticipated launch of the year I feel like um, but this is a neutral palette but it has some colors in there too I used the two green shades and I kind of deepened it up with this shade I just thought I would share this with you because it's finally out. I did purchase mine, although the owner did message me and, and she talked about adding me to the PR list. But like when this came out, I was like, I'm not going to pass up <laughs> the pre-order or like ordering this. I'm not going to like miss out, you know? So I ordered it. Anyway, so beautiful. Lots of neutrals. But I feel like there's more than neutrals in here too. There are some colorful shades and lots of like two shadow looks. So this is something I've been playing with. My last look that I did in my perfect video that was posted right before this video. I also was using that palette. I will have a video hopefully on it this week, hopefully Thursday. I know I'm doing a shine video tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I've just been enjoying that palette and it's so pretty. And I believe the second pre-order or whatever is available again. So thought I would just give it a little shout out. It's my second look with it. And I really wanted to like challenge myself, even though it's like the neutral palette to go into the greens and do something more and not just be stuck in the neutrals. And I still think this look turned out beautiful. I still feel beautiful. It doesn't feel like it's like taking over over my face or like too much, you know? And like lately I've been liking my makeup to just like compliment me really well so that I can shine too. You know, it's not just my makeup. I don't know. Anyway, I like that palette and I picked that up, but it took a while to get here from Australia. Okay, moving on to more color stories from palettes that I think are pretty, but I'm personally not gonna buy. This is the Palettopoly palette from Ace Beauté. I mean, this looks almost like a glam light palette. Honestly, the shimmers look like they're gonna be beautiful Beautiful. I think it's fun and colorful and summer. I believe it's like a whole game that maybe helps you pick the shadows or something that you're using. Like, I think that's so fun. I don't know. I really like this launch and in another time and place, I might actually have purchased this also. But again, it's a little bit big. It's just not quite it for me right now, but I can appreciate it. And I totally understand why someone else would like it. And I think it's really fun. So that's the Ace Beauté Palettopoly. I'd love to know also what you've picked up. Like, what are you picking up? What have you picked up? What's tempting you? I knew I wasn't going to pick this up like, oh, the mini bronze. No, like I'm not going to pick it up even before we really saw full on photos. But seriously, I mean, 
you guys know, I have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes. I love so much about the Natasha Denona systems and I love the mini palettes. Even though you can't pop the shadows out, I love how small the minis are. I literally, when I traveled recently, I took the mini retro and the mini Zendo. Those are like two of my favorites, honestly. Mini retro is just so good, so, so good, okay? <laughs> Like, it's kind of a tragedy that the the big retro, the midi retro, uh, wasn't better to that color story, like, honestly. Anyway, why well, I gotta bring up old shit, I know. Back to bronze. Um, the mini bronze is the fucking bronze. Like, I get that you might want just the mini bronze, and maybe it's less redundant in a way if you just never pick up the midi bronze and only pick up the mini bronze, but I'm gonna get the bronze. All right, so here we are. I love this palette. This was one of the ones that, I think it was the first midi that I bought. I really like it. It's pretty monochromatic. You can get some different looks, but overall, you're definitely getting that bronzed, beachy, babe look. Like, I love it. It's nice, right? The mini just feels redundant. It doesn't even have the things that make this interesting <laughs> like this already is pretty again monochromatic but it has like you know these two colors which add something going on it has some like more pink and warm you know ready almost shades some peachy stuff going on this really is just the neutrality and it was just like a no like it was such an easy no also it's all mattes except for one fucking color like you were buying this palette unless you do a lot of matte looks I feel like you're buying this palette to do a look uh, a single, a singular look and no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. If this is your look, like these five shadows create the look you do daily. I could see this being a win and amazing and you love it. But for me, I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I need like two mattes and then I want like three shimmers. Then I can change up the lid shade. If you have like a medium mid-tone matte and then a dark matte, whatever tones you wanna do, but that's the two mattes I need. <laughs> one for lighter days and kind of crease work, and then one for like deepening it up, giving it some oomph type of thing. Then you have three different lid colors, okay? To me, that's way more of a perfect situation for a five shadow palette. Not the one bronze shimmer, like, I don't know. It was just too literal. It felt like reductive in a way that was boring and I don't know, I'm not into it. And it was such an easy no, <laughs> such an easy no. Even though I love how little those palettes are, I really do. Uh, that was pretty easy. I think we're pretty much moving into the color pop portion of the video, so strap in. So this first one is the BT21 Bon Voyage palette and kind of whole collection. There is a really big, I feel like there's this, this trend of going back to these massive palettes. I'm like, why? Please bring back like even a 10 shadow. <laughs> what are we doing? Why are we? Why is this happening? We need to stop it. I don't want them this big. Where you just fit every color in. I don't want every color. I want the curation. I want you to pick from the infinite colors out there. I want you to pick the texture and the vibe and, and set it, set the vibe. And I know that that's hard. That's one of the hardest things is to edit down a palette when you have infinite possibilities, but that's what I wanna buy, right? I'm not into the palette. I think this is a BTS thing. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry, but I don't really love the palette. I think it kind of reminds me of the Morphe um, and Maddie, the dancer girl. You know what I'm talking about? It kind of reminds me of that palette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little edit. <laughs> I'm gonna really, I hate when I say this in videos cause I'm like, damn girl, when I'm editing, I'm like, fuck you, Lauren. Why did you say you're gonna pop a picture up? <laughs> But anyway, I'll put a little edit up of the two that I'm talking about. Off the bat, I'm not gonna look it up now, so we'll see how close I am when I'm editing, but I feel like it's kind of the vibe of that palette. It could be pretty, you know, if you're really into it. I don't know, it's just not for me. The Super Shocks, I did really like. I was intrigued by. I love a Super I'm like way more into a Super Shock than I am even a palette. Although I say all this and I placed a very large ColourPop order probably like at this point, almost a month ago. Honestly, crazy, it was crazy me. I don't know what came over me. It was like late at night. You know, I'm not above, I buy stuff when I, I don't mean to and I feel like it's truly regrets. Not everything that I purchased when I maybe didn't intend to is a regret. I feel like a lot of the stuff in that order is gonna be regrets. So let me know if you want a little haul and I'll let you guys have reviews on what I've used so far. But when you spend like, Seriously, I almost spent $300. I think I did maybe $300 ColourPop haul. And there was a crazy sale. That's why I was even, <laughs> I was in a sad place. Okay, anyway, 
going back to the super shocks i'm really into super shocks okay i love them for one shadow looks and some of these look like they would be really pretty and kind of give that simple look i've been after they also reminded me of the stila countless color pigments like there was like this throwback moment of like oh my gosh the stila countless color pigments which got me and then that reminded me like oh like you don't need these swirly tie-dye looking things like come on you're fine. So there's that from ColourPop. Something I almost purchased from ColourPop. I love this whole collection, the Clay It Cool collection. Yeah, I went to the website. I almost bought this stuff. And then I also held back. Same with the Pat McGrath. Like, I don't know. I think one thing is that I have bought a lot of stuff recently. I've just gotten a lot of stuff recently. And I just feel like I want to know it more. Like, you know, I want to actually use it, have it on my eyes, know my thoughts on it. And so I'm trying to remember that before I bring the new stuff in, truly, you know know but oh this palette this is so pretty and I know that I have so many palettes that are in a similar color story to this a kind of peachy rosy brown thing but man do I want this also I have the other two palettes that are in a similar series I guess we could call it to this one and I was like then I can move all the shadows around and create my perfect little palette so this one is not off my list entirely at some point I might pick this up I don't really know maybe I'll become weak again one night in the middle of the night hopefully that's not the circumstances in which this is ordered but I do really love it I still love it then there's these cream bronzers which I am interested in I feel like I've really found some great cream bronzers lately I love that NARS one I love the elf one I've even been getting down with the Charlotte Tilbury it's not my like go-to but I mean for a more contoured look I like it I love my persona one and so there's a part of me that wants to know like is this a good dupe another affordable option maybe but I'm also like bitch you just listed off seven cream bronzers like, <laughs> you know, it's such a tug of war, honestly. Then there's some other products in here. There's some beautiful lip products. I'm not a huge fan of actually ColourPop lip products. Learned that from my haul. Like, I just want one bougie, nice lip product. I don't want 17 ColourPop ones. Literally, take all the money that the 17 would cost and I'll just find the one really expensive one. I just... I like that way more. Like, I love that way more. And the other ones just, it kind of feels like trash to me. I don't know. I'm just telling you how I feel. And then there's also this highlighter in here, which has this like peachy golden flash, which is just selling summer vibes. I literally just went on vacation and I want to go back. I just feel like it wasn't enough. And I also just feel like maybe this is what I meant to do for the rest of my life. Uh, I love that whole collection literally had to stop myself from ordering it just wanted to take a moment of like a breath Do I actually want this that type of thing? We'll see. Maybe I still do. I know there's more color pop Let me just go straight to color pop site. I think the last thing from color pop This is kind of a sneak peek from trend mood, but it is the on the list collection and you know, I just this one feels like one that ColourPop's phoning it in a little bit. Sometimes you can tell the filler collections within the collections they feel like they put more time or resources or like shebang behind. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that's just my taste and I'm just projecting that onto these releases, but this one feels a little bit more like, I don't know, we need something to come out with, like next week is empty, let's get a collection going and someone just says on the list. And then for this one, it looks like they just took a, a flower wall that people take Instagram pictures by and we're like, perfect, that's the outside and we'll create something kind of like that on the inside. I don't know, we'll see as more stuff comes out. Maybe this is an Ulta one. Oh my gosh, if I just read the post, I would know, but also I didn't read the post and I already knew that it was an Ulta exclusive. Like, yeah, this, there's something reads different about the Ulta exclusives, okay? <laughs> They, they do not give it their all. They phone it in. They just like do the bare minimum work, you know, on the Ulta ones. But sometimes one will pop off, but you know what I mean? I can kind of tell. Anyway, let's move on from ColourPop. Let's talk about just some random stuff, some newer stuff. This from Shantakai, the new collection. We have the Black Jaguar Eye Quartet, nice smoky dark. And then there is the Cougar Eye Quartet. Now, do I want the Cougar one? <laughs> yeah. Do I want to be this person? No, I don't want to be this person. I don't want to want this palette. I want to go back. Reverse back through the door, close them, act like I never was introduced to this or that I would buy this, but do I want it? Yeah, I do. I don't want to pay $75. I don't know if I actually will, but I like it. I really like it. It's like exactly what I'm into. Boring. I know. I looked at this quad in the past and just yawned i didn't even say anything i yawned rolled my eyes kept scrolling and now i look at it and i'm frothing at 
the mouth. Someone sent help. I do like those. Okay, there's some lip products. You know, I feel like I can usually use the same lip products. I like, I'm pretty basic, okay? There's a collab coming out. This is with Kathleen Lights and Il Maquillage. It's the Disco Fox collection. It's kind of hard to see what's going on, honestly. I mean, her eye look, I think, looks really pretty in this picture. Like, I do like the eye look. I don't think I'll pick this up. I haven't really been into Il Maquillage that much, so it doesn't quite do it for me, you know? And I, I feel like the photos, I can't quite tell what's going on. Like, they're pretty promo photos, but I really, I don't know, the vibe isn't hitting me, at least. Okay, this is not makeup, but nothing's made me want a lotion in my life more. This is the Bare Body Collection from Hemp's, and it's in a little, like, honey bear jar. Love that. The different scents, warm vanilla and amber. That's the one I want, okay? There's soft citrus and sweet creme, orange nectar and cashmere, and there's also sweet jasmine and apple blossom. They're $20 each. They're so freaking cute. I definitely have been trying to be better about doing body care stuff and even skincare stuff that I want to. Obviously, things I actually want. If I don't want to do it, then like, perfect. <laughs> but for the things that I want to do but feel like I don't have time, I'm trying to make that time. Like, not make it a big deal. <laughs> like, it's not a big deal to put a face mask on for seven minutes, okay? It doesn't have to be. And when it is, that's when I realize you need to go on a walk. Your mental health is really declining. You need to get out of this situation. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is I like that, bo that body butter, body lotion. Okay. <laughs> There's some candles also. Let's talk about those. These are the General Mills candles and they smell like cereal. I mean, yeah, part of me really likes it. <laughs> part of me wants to smell a cinnamon toast crunch. I want to smell the Lucky Charms. I want to smell the tricks. I've actually seen other brands do this. I know Goose Creek had like a whole collection of different cereals. They weren't packaged with General Mills. Like they weren't in collaboration or licensed in this way. <laughs> I guess you could say they're kind of like the off-brand, you know, cereals that are out there, but like of the scents. <laughs> so you knew what they were going for, but like it's not actually Cocoa Buffs. Anyway, I didn't pick these up. I have like lots of candles and I don't need them, but I do think it's fun. It's a freaking fun idea. There's some contour palettes that are kind of being sneak peeked from Kevin Aquan. And I mean, you know, that's such a hero product from the brand, the sculpting powder, uh, but I don't want a palette of sculpting stuff right now. No, I think this was great for makeup artists and people who really sculpt, but I'm telling you today, I literally have just the NARS cream bronzer on that's it and that one to me is more like lazy easy to blend in doesn't really add too much but like there's something going on i don't really contour a ton i find it looks weird i mean i have a higher cheekbone and a rounder face still though you know and sometimes when i cut it it's just like literally a line it's like girl you're you know it's like rounder it's not the illusion works for photos <laughs> okay real life you look like you have a line on your face a lot of the time sometimes it can be done really well but i just want to say don't let TikTok trick you the way YouTube tricked you, okay? <laughs> We talk about 2016 and how things are, blah, blah, blah. Don't let TikTok take you back there if you don't want it to. Okay, do whatever you want. Love your makeup however you like it. I'm just saying TikTok makeup videos can be deceiving and easily deceiving. I'm not trying to like hate or shame anyone. I'm just saying it's a one to three minute video with filters a lot of the time, okay? Like that just is what it is. So keep that in your thoughts, okay? Keep it in your thoughts. What else? Oh, some blushes. Okay, from Laura Geller. Haven't seen that name in my timeline and I don't know how long. These are the Serum Blush Cheek Tints. They look really pretty. I'm like, if there were ever time I was gonna be down with Laura Geller, it's probably now, okay? <laughs> Like, it's kind of my vibe. I regret decluttering the, the blushes. Okay, that's where I'm at. And so part of me wants to try these, but I also am like serum blushes. The liquid blushes just don't work for me as much. And that's what I'm assuming this, this formula is. Now, the packaging, I know some people won't like that sponge. It might be the best way though for me to apply this product, honestly. But I will say in general, like the more liquidy blushes have not really been vibing with me lately or ever. I don't even know if there's a time they really have. So yeah, I don't think I'll actually pick them up, but 
I was happy to see that and it's on trend. So maybe they're planning like a comeback. I don't know. These from Essence, these looked really pretty. It's the cute as shell. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's the cutest shell collection. It's like two highlighter blush type things. I wonder if that's just like a spray on for the shell, but they looked really pretty. Then it had this really cute little lip mask. Do I need this lip mask? No. Is this just cute packaging? Yes, but it's cute. It really did. They did it. <laughs> they sold the fantasy on this one and I liked that. There's some nail polish as well. I don't know. I thought the little promo photo looked really cute and it looked more like ColourPop because there's a hierarchy in the drugstore too, right? And Essence is one of those low, low drugstore brands. Like if you're really looking to save some money in the drugstore, you're going to go to Essence. You might go to Elf. Like those are the lower ones. And this looks like something from ColourPop, which ColourPop is also inexpensive, but I'm just... Do you get what I'm trying to say here? Anyway, I felt like this looked more themed and more like a ColourPop launch and thought process behind it while being Essence. And I think that's smart. I mean, there's a reason ColourPop took over because these more inexpensive brands just don't have the cohesion. They aren't like on the trends like ColourPop. And this just looked like there, there was vision. Okay, so anyway, I liked that a lot. We're gonna talk about a few perfumes because I don't know, you gotta let me know if I should pick these up. This is the Daisy Ever So Fresh Eau de Parfum. This is in the like taller bottle, which these ones tend to be, I think a little bit more, yeah, fresh smelling. I don't know if I should pick it up. Notes are Mandarin Essence, Mango and Pineapple, Heart Notes, Rose Water, Orange Blossom, and then Base Notes, Cashmere Wood. This is the thing. I have been a Marc Jacobs girly for a long time, like from the beginning in high school. Marc Jacobs Daisy, that was my shit. Sam bought me bottles of that. Like I love that. So I have a soft spot in my heart, but to be honest, is it my style today? Not nearly as much. So I like the Daisy oh so intense. It's a little bit deeper, but that one's still just, there's a lot of nostalgia still tied to it. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to bring this one in. I, I bought the Daisy Skies, like one of the Daisy Skies perfumes that came out for spring, I think this year, or maybe toward the end of the year. I don't know. In January, I think it was a while ago. And I just don't like, I'm not obsessed with it and I'm trying to get to the point where I'm like obsessed with every one of my perfumes. I don't know. I don't know if I should pick it up. I want to smell it though. I do. I'm not going to lie. There's also a House of Siage little cupcake and this one is so freaking cute. It has gummy bears on it and you know what? I, I have to sit here in my own little, I have to say sorry and just like, man, I don't know what I was thinking. Like shame, shame, shame on me. I remember talking about House of Siage and just being like, who the fuck would spend $350 on a perfume? And now who who would have thought that I would have done that? It just goes to show when you're not in a community and you're not interested in a thing, it is so easy to like write off so much about it. And then if you change and become a part of that community or become interested in those things, now you, you're like, of why wouldn't everyone care about this? Oh, actually this, you you know, all the actual things about it. And you can give so much more nuance and like meaning to all the things. Anyway, that's all I'm trying to say is that I think this is so cute. This is the Sweet Dreams fragrance. It has notes of peach nectar, orange sanguine, davina, heart notes, narcotic osmanthus, Indian jasmine, and rum. Okay. And base notes, amber woods, Indonesian patchouli, cedar wood atlas. I really want to smell this. Wow. $3.95. I mean, inflation. Wow. So much money. So freaking cute. I can just picture it in someone's perfume collection and looking so amazing. I think that's why I love perfumes is that as a collection, I feel like it works different. I know that perfumes can go bad, but it's like this aesthetic looking thing. It's something that ties literal memories to it. It can be more profound, I feel like, sometimes in that way. And I love that it's so much simpler to do. I use different perfumes throughout the day, but also you just spray it on. Like, you don't have to spend a ton of time to wear a perfume. I just love it. Anyway, yeah, that's so cute. What else? Am I missing anything? Is there anything I should talk about? Oh, there's a few more things. Okay, there are some new matchsticks from Fenty coming out. These seem almost like more neutral type color correctors. It's like the color corrector trend back in the day where it'd be like green, purple, like, you know, colors that do work. I mean, <laughs> color correcting is a thing, but it was just like trying to make color correctors mainstream, like everyone needs to do them. These feel like the more natural versions of that. Um, and so part of me really likes that. They're really selling it hard because from everything that I know about matchsticks, they fucking suck, okay? Like they're dry and they don't blend. I've never tried them. This is just hearsay. But um, I, you know, I've just heard a lot of bad things. I find it odd they made new ones, you know? Let me know, am I wrong? Do you like 
the matchsticks, let me know. There's some new Tower 28 stuff, a new lip gloss and a new blush. These colors, like this kind of purpley color, I don't know if it looks really great on my skin. When I did my blush try on video, I was finding that some of the more purple ones and also some of the really pink ones, they just might be a little bit tricky. And there's a part of me that loves branching out and trying new stuff, but also like I've kind of been like, I love like a red, a brown red, a peach, <laughs> an orange, a terracotta, <laughs> like things that kind of all go in one spectrum. I'm kind of into that. So I, I like them. I don't know if I'd pick it up. I feel like it would really look like a lot of the actual redness I have just naturally in my face. So I don't know if it'd be right for me. There's also this new lip. Okay, this I don't like. I'm like, what the fuck? This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum, um, but it's in the color Pink Glow, a clear pale pink. Even on this chick's lips, it looks bad. I'm pretty sure that's to show the lip product. And I mean, it's milky. But I, it's like, it's one move away from just looking like absolute shit. Like seriously, it's questionable if it's there. But then I see this other picture and this looks more normal and fine. I don't know which one, but if anything's giving me the lips like this photo, no, I don't want them. It seems like a good, in theory, but in reality, I feel like it looks kind of fucked up really fast. I'm gonna end it here. We've been here a while. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on some of the new stuff coming out. I feel so torn by so many things. There's so much great stuff out. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a brief declutter or something like that in my collection. And I say this one because I feel like maybe that's part of the issue of like wanting to make sure that I'm bringing in stuff I think I'm really gonna like because I have a lot of stuff and a lot of it's worked, but for the things that haven't worked, I still have them. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know it's like I'm traversing new territory lately I feel like with how I want to do things and even with the cluttering I've talked about that and with buying it's been different so I don't know I'm kind of just trying to see how how this works and I feel like you know I'm just in different territory a little bit and trying to figure it out but yeah I don't know where I'm going with that I guess I'm just trying to say like <laughs> I feel like I'm just in new territory a bit so anyway um, I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts are on the new stuff though what are you picking up what are you excited for or even what have you been loving if you haven't bought anything new in a while? What makes you happy to put on whenever you're putting on makeup? Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.